One of the most underrated parts of Microsoft Word is the Quick Parts feature. Specifically, the ability to create what amounts to shorthand text entries we can call up with just a few keystrokes. This particular concept is called Auto Text, and we can use it with pretty much anything we can type. To start with, we can type anything we need frequently, say, an address. We don't have to worry too much about formatting, since this can always be changed later. Then we have to select the text to tell the feature what to work with. We may want to turn on the Show Hide Invisibles feature here on the Home tab in the Paragraph group to make sure we don't include the last paragraph return unless we want to. And now we can just drag across the text, make the selection. Since this is going to be something we will insert or reinsert later, we now go to the Insert tab in the ribbon and slide over to the Text group to find the Quick Parts drop-down here. In the drop-down, we go to the bottom command, which is Save Selection to Quick Part Gallery. Word will try to name this building block based on the text that it sees, but you can call it anything you want, as long as it's at least four characters and it's something distinct that you can remember. Some people use something like the at symbol to make it distinctive, but as long as it's not a regular word we might otherwise use a lot, it's fine. So as a shorthand, we can call it JS Addy, right here. The key point is we can store a large chunk of text under an abbreviation. The bigger the chunk, the more useful this feature is. The gallery, for this purpose, should indeed be auto text, so we'll select that from the drop-down. And the save-in, further down here, should be set to normal. This is the normal template document for Word. So this piece of information will be available in any document we create or work with in this copy of Word. And having set the parameters we want, we can then click OK. I'll go ahead and turn off the paragraph markers for clarity's sake. Now, if we delete the text, we can have Quick Parts type it for us in just a second by typing, and it isn't even case-sensitive, JS Addy. And even before I finish it, the program pops up a note saying press Enter to insert. So I do so, and there it is. Later, we can modify the address if need be and go through the process again. If we try to use the same name for the entry, we'll be asked if we want to modify it, and we can click Yes. And if we go to the Insert tab again, and the drop-down for Quick Parts, we can even bring up the Building Blocks Organizer, and if at some point in future we find we don't need that particular piece of auto text anymore, we can give it a click, slide down here, click on Delete at the bottom. Are you sure you want to delete it? Yes. And away it goes. And then close the box. In almost any profession where large blocks of text are written the same again and again, this can be a major time saver, and if we enter the text correctly once, it can't make a mistake. Overall, a big help.